Hello, my name is Wei Zhang. Me and my group member, Shen Jie Ni, are going to make a presentation about the literature review on web recommender system and algorithms. I'm responsible for the first half of the presentation. Let's turn to the presentation content. The presentation content includes five parts, which are introduction to the web recommender system, background, literature review, future work, and conclusion. Now let me make a brief introduction to the web recommender system. Web recommender system is a very common application of recommender system. Recommender system is a filter system to protect the user's interest or preference. The recommender system can find out the connection between users and items. These connections have given birth to many industries, especially the e-commerce and social media. Recommender system needs existing connections to predict the future connections. For example, the e-commerce platform will predict the stuff you may buy in the future and recommend them when you are browsing the websites based on what you have bought from, from the platform. Nowadays, with the exponential growth of data and the development of internet information technology, people are no longer living in the age of lack of information. For the users, the occurrence of recommender system may unconsciously reduce time consumption of researching some they are looking for. Let's turn to the background. With the blowout development of internet industry, we are no longer living in an age of lack of information, but an age of information overload. Although people can obtain information through a variety of channels and methods, it becomes much more difficult for people to find the information they are interested in from such a large amount of information. In addition, people gradually change from actively obtaining information to passively receiving information. The quality of recommendation results and the effectiveness of recommender system become more and more important. Varieties of people can benefit from a good recommender system. For example, for the customers and the e-commerce platforms, they are mutually reinforcing with each other. A price recommender system results can save customers time and even improve the loyalty to the platform. Likewise, more products can be sold through the recommender system and the platform can gain profits from the products have been sold. Therefore, more and more research researchers put their efforts on improving the quality of recommendation results and quite a lot of methods have been discovered. Let's turn to the literature review part. In this part, we will re review the studies on different kinds of the recommendation systems. The first one is dynamic recommender systems. Collaborative filter is the most widely used technique for recommender system. The main rationale of co collaborative filter system is making the recommendations based on the people who have similar interests. It is the effectiveness of finding similar interests to people that make this algorithm success. However, now we are living in a rapidly changing world. The information and the data is changing every time and such model needs time to train the data. This period of time may create differences between the actual clusters and current clusters, which may have significantly severe impact on the accuracy of recommendation. In order to handle the dynamic environment, the recommendation system needs to continuously update the information in the cluster. Based on the evolutionary clustering algorithm, the authors propose a dynamic recommender system. Evolutionary clustering. The evolutionary clustering-based algorithm will improve the accuracy of clusters. Therefore, the recommendation results will also correspondingly improve. In addition, a cost function was also proposed to optimize the clustering data for evolutionary clustering algorithms data sets. Let's turn to the multi-objective evolutionary algorithms. In the web recommendation system, the clustering quality determines the accuracy of recommendation system. Clustering can be regarded as searching data that have similar features in massive amounts of data. Clustering is usually done offline to analyze people's behavior pattern. 
sequence clustering is one of the most important methods to create clusters. Usually, weighted and directed graphs are used to represent the structure of sequence data, and it can be transferred to graph partitioning problem. Graph-based multi-objective evolutionary algorithms are quite suitable to handle this type of data. The authors consider that the effectiveness of multi-objective evolutionary algorithms is the key to improving the quality of clusters. The authors divided the multi-objective evolutionary algorithms into two processes, which are finding processes and decision-making processes. In finding processes, a set of good solutions need to, be, need to be found. The mechanisms of decision-making process is that decision-maker make decision based on the experiments and a specific requirement. In the next step, the authors decided to use two different multi-objective evolutionary algorithms to make comparison with effectiveness. Let's turn to the hybrid web recommendation system. Nowadays, with the exponential growth of data, the recommender system become more and more difficult to recommend precisely. How to improve the quality of recommendation result has become the first priority issue that people concerned about. According to the recent researchers, quality of recommendation results can be improved by combining usage information and conceptual information. The authors propose a hybrid web recommendation approach, combine the conceptual relationships in the internet with the usage behavior. Then the authors put their emphasis on how to improve the solution of reinforcement learning. In order to make their experiment more general and objective, they use the exploit hierarchical structure of web pages instead of using an ad hoc hierarchical st structure. Let's turn to the intelligent recommender system. Web recommendation system is one of the most common used systems to provide web personalized service. There are lots of techniques, for example, collaborative filtering and hybrid filtering have been applied to the web recommendation system. However, it is quite hard to make good use of these techniques because in the most of circumstances, people prefer serving the internet anonymously. And these techniques cannot identify whether these nicknames are the same person or not. More recently, web usage mining technique is used to mine people's web browsing record or web searching record to get the model for people's behavior pattern. Based on the sequential pattern, pattern mining technique, the authors propose an intelligent web recommendation system, which is called sequential web access based recommender system. This system aims to predict which website is more likely accessed by a specific person when person is surfing the internet or has person's activity, which include IP, time of visiting, URL, and so on, will be stored in the web server logs. Then they mine the sequence access pattern by using this system. A model called pattern tree, which is an eff efficient algorithm for matching the access pattern and formulating web links, was also proposed to store the pattern results. Let's come to the automatic tag recommendation systems. With the emergency of Web 2.0 and the sophisticated social network, a new concept called tagging comes into the site. Tagging is operation of linking related user-defined keywords to documents, images, or videos. It can help users better organize and share collections of things they are interested in. Then a problem comes out. How to make the process of tagging automate? The authors focus on this problem from the perspective of machine learning. Tag recommendation algorithms can be classified into two different kinds, which are user-centric and document-centric. Since it is much harder to obtain user data than document data, the authors prefer using a document-centric -centric algorithm in the experiment. They propose two original document-centered algorithms that can improve the effectiveness and efficiency of tag recommendation systems. The first, the first algorithm separates the tag data into tag graphs and work graphs. They find a theme of data through graph partitioning. 
the main rationale of the second algorithm is to find the most representative, representative data among the tag data and make classification through Gaussian classifier. This is the end of my part. Shen Jianyi is responsible for the rest of the presentation. Hi everyone, this is Sheng Jianyi speaking. I will be responsible for the next part of this presentation. Uh, firstly, a domain model of web recommender systems with the rapid growth of World Wide Web. Finding useful information from the internet has become a critical issue. Web recommender system help user make decision in the complex information space where the volume of information available to them is huge. Recently, a number of web page recommender systems have been developed to anticipate, in, uh, anticipate the information needs of online users and provide them with recommendations to facilitate and personalize their navigation. Recent studies show that a web usage recommender system which focuses solely on access history has some problem because sometimes this information is incomplete and incorrect. One common solution to this problem is to incorporate some semantic knowledge about pages being recommended into system. In this paper, writer exploited this idea to improve the dynamic web recommender system, which primarily devised for web recommendation based on web usage and structured data. Writer proposed a hybrid web page recommender system based on a, a non crisis cellular learning automatic with multiple learning automata in each cell which try to identify users multiple information needs and then assist them to recommend paper recommend pages to user the proposed system use web usage data content and structure of the website to learn user information needs and uh, predict and uh, predicting users' future requests. A uh, writer's experiment shows that incorporating conceptual conceptual relationship of pages with usage data can significantly uh, enhance the quality of recommendations. In the next part an architecture and a platform for developing distributed recommendation algorithm on large scale social network. And the creation of new and better recommendation algorithm for social networks is currently receiving much attention owing to the increasing need for new tools to assist users. The volume of available social data as well as uh, experimental data sets force recommendations algorithm to scale to many computers. Given that social network, uh, social network can be modeled as graphs, a distributed graph oriented support able to exploit computer cluster arises a, nece a necessity. In this paper, writers propose an architecture called the lightweight massive graph processing architecture, which simplifies the design of graph-based recommendations algorithms on clusters of computers. And a Java implementation for this architecture composed of two parts, Graphly, an API offering operations to access graphs and the JLIME, a framework that supports the distribution of algorithm code and graph data. The motivation behind the creation of this architecture is allowed is allow users to define recommendation algorithms through the API and customize their execution using job distribution 
and distribution strategies without modifying the original algorithm. Thus, algorithms can be programmed and evaluated without the burden of thinking about distribution and uh, parallel concerns, while still supporting environment level tuning of the distributed execution to validate the proposal, the current implementation of the, arch of the architecture was tested using a following recommendation algorithm for Twitter as case study. These experiment experiments illustrate the graph API qualitatively evaluate different job distribution, strategic recommendation time and the resource usage to demonstrate the and demonstrate the importance of providing non-invasive tuning for recommendation algorithms. The next part, web scale recommender system. A recent adv uh, advancement in deep neural net, net network for graph structured data have led to state of the art performance on recommender system benchmarks. However, making these models uh, practical and uh, scalable to web scale recommendation tasks with billions of items and hundreds of millions of users remains an uh, unsolved uh, challenge. In this article, writer describe a large scale deep recommendation engine that writers developed and uh, deployed at Princeton. Uh, writer develop a uh, data efficient uh, graph convolutional network GCN algorithm, which combines efficient random works and graph convolutions to generate um, embedding of nodes uh, that incorporate both graph structure as well as node feature information. Compared to prior GCN approach, writers develop a novel method based on highly efficient random work to structure the convolution and design a novel training strat strategy that relies on harder and harder training examples to improve uh, robustness and the convergence uh, of the model. Writers also develop an efficient map reduce model inference algorithm to generate embedding using a training model. Overall, uh, writers can train on and embed graphs that are four orders of magnitude larger than typical GCN implementations. Writers show how GCN embedding and can be used to uh, make high, high quality recommendations in various settings at Princeton, which have a massive underlying graph with 3 billion nodes representing pins and uh, boardings and uh, 17 billion edges. According to offline metrics, user studies as well as A-B tests, a writer approach generates higher quality recommendations than comparable deep learning based uh, system. Uh, this is by far the, uh, writer said, this is by far the largest application of deep graph embedding, uh, embedding to date and uh, paved the way for a new generation of a web scale recommender system based on graph uh, convolutional architecture. Next, uh, next part is top n recommendation algorithm. The explosive growth of the World Wide Web and the emergence of e commerce has led to the development of recommender system, a personalized information filtering technology used to identify a set of items that will be 
uh, that will be of interest interest to a certain user. User based uh, collaborative filtering is the most uh, successful technology for building recommender system to date and is extensively used in many commercial recommender system. Unfortunately, the computational complexity of this method grows linearly with the numbers of with the number of customers, which in typical commercial applications can be several million. To address this scalability concern, model-based recommendation te techniques have been developed. Uh, these techniques and analyze the user item metrics to discover relations between the different items and uh, use these relationship relations to the compute the list of recommendation. In this article, writers present one such uh, one such class of model-based recommendation algorithm that the that first uh, determined the similarities between the various items, and then uses them to identify the set of items to be re recommended. The key step in this class of algorithm are the method used to compute the similarity of the uh, similarity between the items and then the method used to combine these similarities in order to compute the similarity between a, ba a basket of items and, and, and a candidate recommender item. Uh, the writer's exper experimental evaluation on eight real data sets shows that these item-based algorithms are up to two order of magnitude faster than the traditional user neighborhood based recommendation recommender systems and uh, provide recommendations with comparably uh, comparable or better quality uh, future work in the future further studies should be established to observe the consequences of their use, uh, efficiency, and uh, usefulness, and the use of clustering, assemble, and SVM algorithm in recommendation systems. In comparison, recommendation system production does not evolve, involve um, early stage research studies such as specifications and uh, architectures and uh, late stage, such as maintenance, the investigation of big data technology, which provides a wide range of tools to facilitate the collection and the processing of large data includes other research opportunities. Uh, I also agree that many other open issues should be explored, including the the use of inter interact interactive methods in social network and uh, spatial temporal domains uh, involving research topics related to a recommendation system and a machine learning algorithm. Finally, the conclusion. The recommender system has undoubted, 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 uh, undoubtedly opened up new options for, res for searching and filtering information. For example, the profits of internet shops are accelerating music lover discover new artists they did not know before. And the tourists may go sightseeing to the place that are interested in but never discovered before. Um, by using all these options, customers uh, can save a lot of time. Um, these are very small parts of the beneficial impact of the recommender system. 
In this paper, we make a review on studies about different kinds of recommendation system and uh, briefly illustrate the research insight and the future direction. We believe that review may, uh, we believe this review may give readers a good guide, guideline on the recommender system and uh, inspire them in their research. Thank you, that's all.